Hello. The next exercise in the abbreviated basic series is entitled 16th Note Accent Grid. We've all played this. Um, basically two heights, one up here, one down here. That's the crux for the whole entire exercise. Accents, taps, make a definite difference between accents and taps. Taps are down here around three. Accents are way up here, whether they're nine, 12, 15, or more, okay? I'm going to play these around 15 or more. So we're going, all right? Um, basically, it's a four, two, one pattern. We're playing on the one, the E, the and, the uh, four times, and then we're playing twice through the twos and four times through the ones, okay? Look at the music. It'll clear up a lot of questions you may have. Most people have played this. If you haven't, start it real slow, but focus on the inner beats. Inner beats meaning the low notes. Get those low notes nice and steady. Make sure that you are playing with intensity when you're playing the low notes. Don't drop them because they'll end up sounding like dotted eights or dotted sixteenths. We don't want that. We want everything to be. All right, so I'm going to play through this. Uh, basically, the first two lines of this exercise will be played once. The third line will be played twice, and the last line will be played once, or, or four times actually. So, 16th note, accent grid. Here we go. This is at uh, 100. Another point, just thought of it. The biggest point of uh, contention, well, one of the larger points of contention with younger players is that you rush, or you might rush, no, you will rush. When you're a young player, you're gonna rush the fours back into the ones, so you'll go. All right, don't do that. Don't distort the rhythms. Like I said, everything is. All right, so when you're going from the four accent on one E and uh, back to the one, keep it evenly spaced, like not, don't rush, use a metronome. Don't trust your instincts to play in time. You can't trust your instincts with rhythm. Everything's got to be Right? You need to be able to see daylight between these notes, the 16th notes. Everything is up. All right? We've got accents. We've got taps. All right? Control the taps, the inner beats. Very important. Okay, so practice this. You can also practice this left hand lead. You can also play it backwards, but that's for another day. So, until next time. Practice your 16th note accent grid. Keep on drumming.